Welcome back. This is Bishop Talbert. I am your host of this show, Moment of Truth, the number one podcast in the state of Alabama. And we are moving up and up and up, up the rankings throughout the country. So yes, I am grateful for everyone who takes time out of their busy day to check us out and to see what we have going on. Well, recently I have been asked to come and deliver the word of God every fourth Sunday at Obeying His Commandments Holiness Church with Bishop Gloria Stewart. It is in Mobile. If you all want to check us out at 7216 6th Street in Mobile, Alabama. I will be giving the message every fourth Sunday. This is truly an honor, truly a blessing. Once again, I want to thank her for the opportunity for believing in what we're doing here at Moment of Truth, knowing that everything that we say is given to us directly from the Lord. You know, it's not about opinions or our feelings. It is about delivering his message to you all, the children of God, the people that matter. Um, I was asked this past Sunday to to deliver a message um, and it turned out pretty pretty well. We had a good time and I'm just thankful for the opportunity. So I wanted to bring it to you today. Um, once again, you can check out everything we're doing at talbert99district.weebly.com slash moment of truth. You will see everything that we have going on. Um, as well as my campaign as I seek to become the first African-American conservative elected to the Alabama House of Representatives. So yes, I want to bring you this video um, and I hope you enjoy it. I know you will. If you watch it with an open mind, it will touch something. And every it touches someone, everyone in a different way. Nobody is the same. You know, you may feel it. But I ask that if you like the video, will you share it with with your close ones, with your family, you know, with your friends, to let them know maybe something that they need to hear. And I also want to say that um, if you have a church out there or you have a a group that you would like me to come to come and speak with, um, I do not mind. I'm open. Um, you can give me a call. You can check out my website to contact me directly um, or email. That will probably be the best way to contact me. Or you can just give me a call at area code 251-333-8439. Well, I thank you and I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you and God bless. All right, um, before I do anything, um, I'd like to... Do my best to connect with the Lord. So I need everybody to bow your head and say a quick prayer that we can be led in the Spirit and to feel this message. Remember, take it outside of here, not just stay with us. Right. Most merciful Heavenly Father, we come to you today seeking your guidance, Lord. Seeking your favor as we just continue doing our best to honor you. In every movement, every breath that we take, Lord, we give you the glory. None of it is possible without you. Lord, we just ask that this message today that we're about to hear is directly from you. That you touch it and place it in our hearts. Each one individual, Lord, we just so thank you for building the worship in. Yes, Lord. Lord Jesus, I just ask all these things in your name. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 But to really be hated, my right? That is that is tough. My Amen. You know, especially when you're doing something that the Lord has put on your heart, you shall be hated by all. Oh, it doesn't exclude anybody. Family members. Yeah. You don't even know. Yeah. You know, it, it can be overwhelming. But if you endure it, 
to the end. You don't turn your back on the Lord. You don't. Come on with it. You don't make excuses. Come on now. You, you go through it. Jesus did it for us. Yes. You know, and we can never experience what he went through. My he did it for the world. Yes. So we don't have to experience going to hell. My and we got an opportunity. We have an option. Yes. To come here today. Because when it comes down to it, the only person that matters is our Heavenly Father. Yes. They're going, to, they're going to have their feelings. Yes. They're going to feel how they want to feel. You know, it's not up to us to change how they feel. We just pray that they can open this book up and they can realize they're not in control of the Lord. Either. Amen. You know, because a lot of people want us to live our life based upon their experiences. You know, their, their fears. They try to instill their fears in us. You know, if, if we live our life like that, we will be miserable. You know, it's really no other way to put it. You know, you will, you will be sad if you continue to to rely on the past and the wisdom from the past. You know, because every day is different. Every day is a new opportunity. I don't care if you messed up yesterday. You know, you got an opportunity to, to call on the Lord. He will forgive you. Yes, he will. But you must be sincere. Yes. You can't just say forgive me, Lord, and do the same thing. You yes. have to be sincere. It has to come from the heart. You know, um, yes, yes. It's, I think about it, it's, it's still overwhelming at times. You know, I've, I've had my own, my own sister, she told me, um, yeah, you're you going to win the election, but you're going to die right after. It was, you know, like, wow. I, somebody I looked up to all this time, and, you know, you you trying to cast that on me? You know, I, I, I wasn't mad because I knew it wasn't her. That's just yeah, Satan. Come on with trying it. to put doubt. Well, well, maybe if you don't win or if you quit, you won't die. You know, but if I quit, I would never know what the Lord has in store for me. Yes, Lord. All right, now I want to go to Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby he must be saved. You know, a lot of people say, yeah, I believe, but, you know, my... My, my spiritual comes from, from me having a good upbringing and, and having good morals. I just look at it like, well, that ain't enough. The only way you're going to be saved is through Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus Christ is the only way. And I'm not afraid to say that. They, they try to discourage you from believing that Jesus Christ is because they have doubt. But I don't have any doubt. I know what I've been through. You know, you must be sincere. That's the thing. Yes. You know, there are a lot of people, regardless of of, of, of party, regardless of race, yes. Yes. regardless of any, any of those things. You go to a lot of churches, you just feel it feels cold in there. You know, yes. it's just like it's a it's it's a tradition, but it's no love. No, 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 Christ isn't in there. My God. You know, you can walk, everybody memorize the songs, everybody get up and sit down like they're supposed to, but if it's not real, you know, I, I don't feel real. You know, I feel just as much going in there as I did when I came out. Hallelujah. You know, my, my wife, she tells me, um, she still tells me, the one day I just called her, I was at work and said, I'm going to run in the election. And she said, what? Okay. You know, that was it. It was just so, it just came to me. The Lord put it on me. He said, you know, I've been, he has been working with me for the last couple of years. And he said, it's time. You know, we can't just continue to keep everything inside. You know, we have to let the world know. You know, we have to let everyone know. That's where it comes. You're going to be hated. You know, we have to deal with it. You're going to be hated. You're going to have your life, your life threatened. Yes. They're going to come after your family. Yes. But you know what? You have to endure it. Yes. You know, we cannot run. We cannot hide right. from it. 
Because you know we are protected. That's the thing. We, it, it don't matter how big they say, you know, how much money or power they say to have, it's not enough to My stop you from reaching your destiny. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, uh, a groundbreaker. Yes. For yes. this. For yes. this church. Yes. You know, to yes. let everyone know. Yes. The Holy yes. Church is here to stay. Yes. We are going to continue to grow. And we are going to continue to expand. Yes. Let's go. I'm talking to you online. Somebody needs to hear. Somebody needs to hear. We are going to continue. We are not going to stop. I don't care if there's a lot of big churches around here, but Holy Church is the least Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We are, we are not going to be fearful. No, we're not. You know, it, it yeah, doesn't matter if, if who comes in these doors. They're going to experience the same thing that has been given to us for a very long time. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Everyone here is special. Everyone yes, here has, yes, has a plan. Yes, you know, yes. so don't be upset if you don't know what yours is right now. You know, don't, don't get mad at somebody else because they are walking in their path. Yes, yes. Just, stay, just stay true to the way. You know what you want to come to. Yes, it is. Like it came to me. Just one day, minding my business. It can come to you walking down the street, feeding the kids. But when it comes, just stay strong. Yes. It's not going, this is not easy. No, it's not. It's not. You know, I, I can't promise you every day is going to be simple. You know, you're going to be tested and tried yes, by everyone. Yes. You don't even expect. But the Lord is with you. Yes, you yes. have to truly believe that. You know, you have to change your ways of thinking. Yes. You have to change your behavior. Yes. You know, you have, you have to rely on Him more than ever. You yes. think you are now. But when you are truly walking in that path, you're going to have to rely on him. A hundred percent more than you've been doing. You're going to be praying more. You're going to be on your knees more. You're going to be, going to be giving praise all the time. Because it, it won't be done without him. This will shall be done. You know, it, it is up to us to stay strong. Stay running, to, yes. to stay talking. You know, it, is, it does not have to stop with us. You know, the Lord, He gives us this yes. word right here yes. to sing His grace, sing His blessings. Yes. You gave that beautiful voice not to keep to yourself and sing in the mirror. You know, He gave you that to give to everyone else, yes. to let them know that He is still here. Yes. Our, Christ, our Christ is risen, yes. He is alive today. Yes. It, it didn't end on the cross. No, I didn't. He's here right now. Right now. He's with all of us. Yes. You know? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. And we got to continue. We, yes. have to continue. we have to continue to fight. Yes. Because there's, there's so many of them out of here that want to you see us see. be destroyed. Yes. Yes. They want the word gone. Because they feel that they can execute whatever they want to do without us. Yes. Yes. But we ain't going nowhere. We're not going nowhere. We might, might only be a few of us in here. But there's plenty of them. There's plenty of them. Take this word outside of here and just beat these streets down. Let these people know. We are here. We are the true. We are the true children of God. I don't care how big the church is. I don't care what kind of car you drive. We are the true children of God. We are blessed. But we must be thankful. Then when we reach that point of success, you know what? We have to continue giving him the praise. We got to continue giving him the praise. Because we, we, can't, we can't do it by ourselves. So we have to continue just Honoring him in everything that we yes, do. Yes, Every yes. opportunity that we get. I don't yes. care how small, big, or small it is. It comes from the Lord. You know, each and every opportunity that we get. 
You know, it was from my heavenly father. I'm not going to be afraid to admit that. I don't care who is in front of me. I'm going to say that I am here because Jesus Christ placed me here. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And do not be afraid. You know? It, it, it is definitely up to us. It is, it is up to us. No one else. We can't rely on anybody else. You know, we have to continue moving. When we have to continue bringing our children up the way they should to follow the Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care how hard it is. How much, how much they, they seem to not be listening. We have to continue. We have to continue yeah, showing them the yeah, right way. Yeah. We have to train them. Yeah. You know, because we're not going to be here forever. Yeah, you know? Yes, our children, they have to continue moving. They have to learn. Yeah. You got to tell them. Every, yeah. every time they do something wrong, let them know. Don't overlook none of that. Because a little small sin can turn bigger and bigger. So we got to... We have to continue to, to get their ears. I don't care. If you don't want to hear it, you go there. And this is the word from the Lord. You know? That is, that is our legacy that we have. That is our that is our truth. That is how someone can look at you and tell how you live it. By your children are saved. I want to leave you all with this. I don't want to take up your time. You know, no matter how hard it gets, no matter how time seems to be, seem like you're in quicksand, you ain't moving. And sometimes you seem like you can't do nothing right. Just rely on the Lord. Just rely on Him. Call on His name. No matter you want the grocery store, it don't matter. Call on His name. Call on His name. He's trying to make a way. You know, Satan tempts us. Satan tries us. Yes. But you know what? You get beyond that. You learn to look beyond that. You're going to see that light right there. You're going to see Christ waving at you. Right there. Say, do with me. I got all the answers. Nobody had an answer. But my husband is fine. Yes, Lord. I just thank you all for allowing me to take and bring this word. I just love you. It's really great. I love you, Stephen. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.